If you could be any animal in the world, what animal would you be and why? So I believe I'm contractually obligated to say wolf because I'm the host of the Sales Wolves podcast. However, I think it'd be awesome to be like an eagle or like a hawk. Good job. Yeah. Impressed with your vibe. Give us our daily bread. I want the whole basket. Cause I'm a hustle till I get it or I'm in a casket. Passionate for providing value in every way. Not cashing in for providing value every day. Paying it forward. Right thing, I'll do it till I'm dead. I hope you're hungry cause it's time for the daily bread. So it's New Year's Eve and we're stuck down here in Tyler's basement. <laughs> <laughs> I locked TJ in my basement <laughs> to get this thing edited and done. Um, but no, it's so funny. So we just did a Facebook Live um, where we just set it up in the corner and just had people watching us editing and just kind of interacted with people back and forth. And not even an hour later, it's got 1,300 views, 101 comments. But the guy just sent me a message. Me and my wife were just watching your you Facebook Live we are interested in becoming a breadwinner. We have built our second business from the motivation that you bring to your audience, us. Thank you. And because of it, we launched almost two months ago and are on our way. It wasn't easy, but definitely worth it. That's awesome. So what a breadwinner is, is we're creating a group of people that when we launch the daily bread vlog, we have this group of people we send the link out to and they share it on a bunch of different places like that second. Um, and this is like someone that's saying like, hey, like because of the value you've brought me over the last few months, we'd love to do that for you. So it's awesome. All right. Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? Still nothing, man. Nothing. Jeez. <laughs> so my name is Tyler Harris and before I get started man I just want to thank you for for your time and allowing me to be on here um, it's always uh, refreshing to see someone that oh man just uh, spoke to my heart right there with the water mm. I was about to say it's refreshing to see someone that's willing to put hustle on their t-shirt but then when you just drank out of a gallon of jug that just made me even more uh, happy just then there's not a single successful person out there that won't tell you that a, a, a strategic mentor at the right time was the key to their success one big thing that one big thing that I'm so against I cannot stand the phrase self-made man self-made millionaire self-made whatever because it does not exist like the fact of saying someone is self-made is just completely disrespectful to every single person whether good or bad influence that they were but they made you into you into who you are today there's some changes happening there's a change of coming and it's a good change all I ever wanted to do was to be able to have a platform where I could help people. And that's what this is, and that's what this will continue to be in a greater and greater and greater and greater and greater degree. So it's gonna go from being more this high level like motivational memes to real content, real value. That means engaging with you guys in the comments, engaging with you guys in the inbox. And it's my fault that I haven't been doing that before, but that's just the nature of these pages generally. It's just putting out content, 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 and it's impossible to keep up but no more. We're gonna be posting our normal content like we always do, but we're gonna be engaging more in the messages. If you need help, send us a message. If you, if you want our advice on something, send us a message. If you wanna help us out in any way as far as getting this message out there, send us a message. We've built an infrastructure for us to be able to do that. And so here are the first two things. The first one that I just mentioned, the new daily vlog called The Daily Bread. The first episode is gonna launch here in about 20 minutes and it is gonna blow your mind. I've never been more excited in my entire life about anything that I've been involved in, anything, than this project. So that's it guys, here in about 20 minutes, we're gonna post up the first episode of The Daily Bread. All right, so it's just, just live. Just went live. First episode, I feel like my little child just went off school.
So what are these forms you're filling out? Um, this is just like renewal of all my insurance licenses and all that stuff. January is like a year you gotta do all that every couple of years. Just renewing all my insurance licenses because the last thing you wanna do is go sell a bunch of policies and realize you don't have a license to sell it because that's how you go to jail. <laughs> <laughs> we finished it at 2 a.m. <laughs> we, yeah. we have the whole first episode done at launch yesterday. Have you seen it yet? Mm -hmm. Dude, it's unreal. Seen like it. every time I watch, I watch it probably 30 times. Every time I watch it, I'm just like grinning ear to ear. You're so serious. <laughs> Any good morning? Mm -hmm. mm. looks so pretty this morning. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, well done. Alright, good. Oh, it's recording now. Booyah! This is the new car cam where we provide you tips from the whip. <laughs> so we're driving down Atlanta. What are the what is the mission down here in Atlanta? What are you gonna be doing? Down here? What's the first? mission today is to pay the little smallest fee possible for this gigantic ticket I got. <laughs> How'd you even get the ticket in the first place? <laughs> Oh well, I've been working the four crazy days straight, like all hours of the night, in the morning, like just nonsense. I woke up early that Friday morning to get back for we do a nine o'clock meeting at the office, a super important meeting with all of our leadership on the corporate side, and I was trying to get up and get back in three hours to make it to that meeting. Posting on Facebook or Instagram or something, not paying attention, I got pulled up by a state trooper. And, it's going 94 to 60. It's not gonna go to court, they wouldn't let me pay it on mine. I thought it would be fun for you guys to find out a little bit more about Tyler, so I pulled up an article called 36 Interview Questions That Are Actually Fun to Answer, and we're gonna have uh, Tyler answer these questions. I'll let you be the judge. Are you more of a hunter or a gatherer? Hunter. You're a new addition to the crayon box. What color would you be and why? A semi gloss. My face is always oily in all these stupid camera shots. <laughs> we finish the interview and you step outside and find a lottery ticket that ends up winning $10 million. What would you do? Spend it. On what? Just kidding, I wouldn't spend it. I would try to figure out who it belonged to. I'm gonna hope they were nice enough to split it with me. What do you think about when you're alone in your car and you're not on Facebook Live? Content, man. I'm always thinking about like, what's the next video going to be about? What's the next post going to be about? So when I'm not posting, I'm thinking about posting. What's your favorite 90s jam? Favorite 90s jam? No diggity. What were you like in high school? I was a state champion wrestler that also played the piano. Literally, I went to piano lessons before school, but then I was also a state champion. Well, I was smart. I mean, I, was, I got good grades. Like, I think I had like a 3.7 GPA. Um, what weight class did you wrestle at? 189. 189 junior and senior year, 160 sophomore year, 145 freshman year. Hashtag Gates. <laughs> <laughs> Any advice for your previous boss? Not current, previous. Fire me sooner. Tell me something about your last job other than money that would have inspired you to keep working there. I mean, my, my whole story was sales job to sales job to sales job, getting fired or quitting because I just couldn't get passionate about what I was selling. Um, so it was, it was no fault of their own. It was, it was my fault for kind of taking on those uh, positions or those opportunities when I knew deep down inside it wasn't something that I was gonna be committed to long term because it just, it was a paycheck. That's back when I was in that mentality of like, uh, which so many people are in, the whole base salary plus commission, like, oh, I gotta get a big base salary plus commission. But what's the base salary? What's the base salary? Like, I'm commission only now. And like, that's the only way I ever wanna be. I wanna know exactly what like I want to earn what I'm paid. I never want to be. I want never want to feel like indebted to an employer that's paying me when I'm not bringing in revenue for the company. So I get it. Salaries make you feel safe, but so does crushing sales. Pretend you're our CEO. What three concerns about the firm's future keep you up at night? Meeting deadlines, turnaround time. Meeting deadlines, turnaround time. And turnaround time, meeting deadlines. <laughs> what inspires you, Tyler? When you start thinking about legacy, you start thinking about 
Like, what are people going to say at my funeral? And that's what Gary Vee always talks about. That's what V said. It's what he always talks about. He's like, I want there to be just millions and millions of people that are lined up at my funeral because I want to be an all-time great human being. Um, I used to always think, I'm like, ah, yeah, whatever. I've really started to think about that now. Like, what do people what do people say about you when you're not around? Like, what do people say about you when you die? Like, those type of things, it's not easy to make a big impact in people's lives to where they can immediately think of something when your name comes up. Like, that's not an easy thing to change. Um, and I'm not necessarily sure that I, it's something that I need to change, but it's something that I want to get just better and better and better and better. It's just being a, a good human being, doing the right thing. All right. All right, so that's the quick little mini interview. He said it was going to be fun to answer. Not that fun. Not that fun to answer. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what? What just? So happened? I just got off the phone with the lady at the courthouse. <laughs> I'm trying to find her. We're in the middle of nowhere, Georgia, right now. We've been and, driving uh, for about an hour and a half. Yeah, and she was like, "I so said the guy told me I had to appear in court. I couldn't pay it online." She's like, "Well, why did they tell you that?" And so uh, I was like, "Well, what?" She's like, "What website are you going to?" And I told her the website. She's like, "Well, that's wrong." I'm like, "Well, that's the website on the form that says how to pay the ticket." <laughs> So she gave me the right website, and it's 180 bucks. And she's like, "And you don't need to appear in court." I'm like, <laughs> "So there's, so we don't have to go to court. We can, we can get a good workout." Well, we'll definitely get a good workout. In. I got that hunk. Yeah, I got that hunk. Yeah, I got that hunger. Hey, I got that, I got that, I got that, I got that, I got that hunger. Yeah, I got that hunger. Yeah, I got that hunger. Yeah. I got that, I got that, I got that, I got that, I got that What you know about it, I know all about it When they all would doubt it, I just kept on getting louder yeah, I don't talk about too much, but now they all astounded Hey, if you got that hunger, homie, that's your greatest power I'm just motivated rapper you have ever heard I put my soul into the music, I mean every word I had to fight if I'm a way more than I prefer But I'm a bone crusher, mama, I ain't ever scared Nah, I just came to average love a challenge with my so I got Tyler to agree to do my super secret Tabata hit sprinting exercise. He won't know what hit him. So here's what it is. It's four minutes on the clock and we just put a song on and then the song will go for 20 seconds and then take a break for 10 seconds and it'll tell you. And every 20 seconds when it starts, you have to go as hard as you humanly can. Like you, there is no breaking. There's no, like there's a zombie about to murder you. That's what you're focused on. So, but when it stops, you do nothing. Do absolutely nothing. And just keep up okay. all the way through the end. <laughs> all right, let's it for a second. Smoke. How did that feel? Oh, <laughs> Are you locking up? <laughs> Are they about to cramp? <laughs> yeah. But this was a um, this was a connection through uh, Nehemiah Davis, uh, Neo. He uh, connected me with Joy. Yeah. So just looking at the details, I got to be down there at the radio studio at 7:15 in the morning. Ends at 8.30, and they also stream live on Periscope, an app, a bunch of different stuff. So this would be cool. This would be a new experience. Here's what I love. I love the fact that at 7.15 in the morning, we will drive to this radio studio to do a radio show. But then I will literally leave from there, change clothes, and I will go to my next meeting, which the first meeting is at 9. Um, 
to sell life insurance because that's what I do. Like that is my career, and I love this balance. Like that's the theme that I want to really go throughout the rest of these episodes is this balance of the full-time career and the side hustle, which is providing value for the masses through social media. But the full-time career is what funds providing the value. So it's interesting to me that so many people have this, um, they get stuck in this, like, am I doing what I'm born to do, what I'm meant to do? Like, is this my purpose in life and what I'm doing? It may not be your purpose in life, but it may fund your purpose in life. So what I've seen happen is people will struggle and they won't go all in and they won't even put an effort in their current opportunity because they're waiting on the opportunity. What I can tell you is the opportunity will never come if you are failing in your current one. But if you are doing the best that you can, going all in, giving your full effort and excelling in what you're doing now, what you're supposed to be doing will eventually come. Friend.